In this new feature 2025 tutorial video, we will demonstrate the steps to generate a site context for your project. Site context is vital for effective site preparation and logistics planning. By utilizing this new feature, construction teams can ensure the safety of the site, minimize the environmental impact of construction activities, optimize logistics, and enhance communication with stakeholders. In this tutorial, we will cover six objectives related to site context generation. To begin, we will walk through the steps to create an account to activate the site context feature. Next, generate a site context for a construction site located in London. Following that, we will explore various map settings, increase the size of the 3D map generated, and define the boundary of the construction site. Lastly, we will edit the site surroundings using the brush tool to refine and customize the site context for effective planning. The first objective is to create an account to enable site context capabilities. This guide will help you set up your account to activate site context features in Fuser. Start by choosing site context in the more options menu to open the site context activation window. Click on Open Mailbox to begin creating your account. Signing up and activating your Mailbox account, sign in by clicking Sign In. Next, generate a token by selecting Create a Token, entering your project name. Choosing the required settings and unchecking other options. Click Create a Token. Enter your password. Copy the token and paste it in Fuser to confirm. This completes your account setup and gives you access to site context capabilities. There are two methods to locate the site. You can either input the site address or specify latitude, longitude coordinates. For this tutorial, we will first use the site address method. Type 30 St. Mary Axe as an example. In the box under Project Address, it will pop up a list of suggested address. Click on the correct one to confirm. Once the image of the map is shown, click Generate to create the site context model. If this method does not work, you can locate the site using the latitude, longitude coordinates. Open Google Map in the search box. Enter your address. Right-click the place or area on the map. You can find your latitude and longitude in decimal format at the top. To copy the coordinates automatically, left-click on the latitude and longitude. And then go back to Fuser, paste the latitude and longitude in the box under Project Address. Once the image of the map is shown, click Generate to create the site context model. The third objective is to explore different map settings. You can tailor the texture and height data types of the map. For textures, you can select between satellite and map. For height data, you can choose elevation or flat. We will demonstrate four different map settings. Let's explore the setting, map plus elevation. Here is the result. The second one is map plus flat. The third one is Satellite plus Flat. The last one is Satellite and Elevation. The fourth objective is to increase the size of the 3D map generated. The default 3D map generated is 2 km times 2 km. If you really want to increase the size of the map, you can utilize the arrow buttons to enlarge the site context tiles in four directions. We will click on the blue arrow to increase the size. Here is the result. Let us now proceed with the fifth objective, define the boundaries of the construction site. Click on the site model to bring up the element properties window. Next, click site leveling button. A grid guide will appear to assist with accurate dimensions. We are going to define a site in rectangle shape by clicking four points. 
Press Escape to confirm. By following these steps, you will be able to refine the construction site and improve the appearance of the surrounding areas. Adjust the site leveling height by dragging the bar to meet your specifications. Then, click the Smooth Brush tool under the Site Operation Options tab. Next, adjust the brush radius by moving the slider or typing in the exact value to create a smooth cover area. Fine tune the brush strength by sliding the control or typing in your preferred strength value. If you want to remove the model, you can click delete button to remove it from the construction site. Thank you for watching.